am on Liberty Square. I'm going to Hungary. I'm flying to Hungary tonight. Here I am in the bus. shop but I didn't buy anything because I didn't find anything interesting well except for one thing but I didn't buy it anyway here I am still walking in Budapest and look over here there is a train station look how many trains are there at the moment I'm going to a museum and I will try to film something in the museum So I'm now going to take a memory coin from here. Here I put 20 forints over here. Then I put 100 forints over here. And now I'm going to put five forints over here. I have selected the design. The design. I guess that's right. But I'm going to take the coin anyway. So here how it goes. I guess I'm going to get the start. Start. Upright position. Press. Turn the head. Ah, this is how. Ah, this is how I. What I have to do. I have to turn this handle. Go on. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. Some cold metal. Yes, it's finally engraved. Here's my memory coin. Here. Here it is. So, oh, look how beautiful it is over here. I am on the museum territory. Look over here. Look how nice it, everything looks. Here I am walking on the bridge over here. Here's the Danube River. I just found out that this river is called Danube in English. In Russian it was called Dunai. Here's the Parliament House. This is the most beautiful building uh, in Budapest, I think. I even got my I even got myself a postcard with it. Here we are at this uh, grocery store here in Budapest, look around it. Look over there, it has the word Duna in it. I don't really know what Duna means in Hungarian, but when I say Duna, I think of June, of course. Especially given that in Russian, it is called Duna. 
are some great souvenirs over there. I saw somewhere a parents list mug and I want to buy it. When I see it, I regret that I didn't uh, buy it when I had the chance, but I can go down and buy it. So here I am walking in Budapest, look at the street, it looks very beautiful. Oh, look over here, it's Old Street Cafe and restaurant. Some souvenirs around, we've bought a lot yesterday and today. I will show later what I got in Budapest, but I think that I haven't finished. I have yet to buy things. Yeah. Here are more souvenirs. I'm done with souvenirs. They remind me of the ones I have in Tbilisi. But here they have Budapest written instead of Tbilisi. Today I really wanted to go to stationery. And I got myself a pen. It's a very nice stationery shop that I haven't uh, seen in Georgia. It's my third day here in Budapest and I got used to some stuff over here. Although before I arrived here I assumed that Hungary used euros and I was wrong. It was very complex for me at first to tell to use foreigns but now I more or less got used to oh look the chocolate is being melted here So this is the last day in Budapest, I haven't shown the uh, hotel room, here's my bed, here's how everything looks, it looks very beautiful, and here's the TV, here's the wardrobe, and here's the toilet, here's the shower. And I'm trying to film as much as possible, oh look! It's a good stationery store. I bought two things there. It's a very good shop. Pirex. It's called Pirex. Very good. I just entered a, a clothing store and got myself this very nice sweater. You will see it on me in my future videos. We just came out of a trade center I think it was called Plaza Arena we didn't find anything special in that trade center but I did go to a bookstore and got myself a book as a trophy I will show you the book much later oh look around it's so windy here it's hard for me to record here because it's So, I'm finally flying home. I'm going to the bus to get to the airport and then to fly home. Let's look at the body. Oh, look at me. I'm carrying a backpack like this because... And, and by the way, 
street there is one Hungarian word I learned it's Utsa and Utsa is for street in Hungarian here I am at duty free in the airport of Hungary of Budapest it's a Ferenc List international airport and here I'm walking around look some very nice candy around here what else can I show you? Some Kinder, some Smarties, never tasted this. Oh, more Kinder. I love these. Oh look, Lindt, this is what I bought just now. Lindt chocolate is amazing and I bought some while I was in the city. And I'm back home. Now, now here comes the final part of the video. What did I buy in Hungary? I did buy a lot of things and I'm going to show you here. And I'm going to start with the most expensive thing I bought. This lovely sweater. This costed 17,000 forints. It's 50 euros. But it's a very beautiful sweater and I'm going to wear it in, one, in my future videos. Next thing I got is this key, key ring. Here's the Parliament House over here. Budapest Parliament on the back. I bought five of these for my friends. So I got myself this lovely postcard of the Parliament House, the most beautiful building I saw in Budapest. One thing that I discovered when I was in Hungary, the composer Ferenc Liszt was Hungarian. And then when I was walking through souvenirs and looking at mugs, I selected the mug that Ferenc Liszt on it. Oh, it also comes with its own spoon. To be honest, I expected this mug to be bigger. Unfortunately, when I was in Hungary, one unlikely thing happened. I lost my scrunchie, therefore I had to get a new one. Here it is. Oh, and in the shop I saw this lovely thing and I couldn't resist buying it. Oh, it really fits me. I'm going to spend the rest of the video in this. As someone that really loves stationery, I couldn't resist going there. And I got myself this. What's inside? Yeah, this is a very lovely planner. To be honest, I'm not a planner user because I don't have no idea how to use them. But I just liked this so much, I couldn't resist. So for a receipt for that one, I paid three thousand ninety. 90, 990 forints. I was uh, in a hurry when I bought this and I didn't notice that it was in Hungarian. Well, let me show it to you. It's in Hungarian, but I assumed it was in English. But I'm glad that I bought this anyway. I'm going to use it wisely. I'll try. Oh, and I also got a purple pen. When I checked it, it, it was actually purple, not the blue because here in Georgia when I see colorful pens they all they end up being blue but this resembles its color I wanted to check some Hungarian bookshops unfortunately obstacles prevented me from going there but nonetheless at the very last minute I managed to buy myself a book here it is and then there were none by Agatha Christie it's one of my favorite novels. I read it in Russian and I'm going to read it again next year in English. I do want to say that there weren't too many books in English in Hungary. After visiting bookstores in Russia, Georgia and Hungary, going through books in English, I can definitely say one thing, that, there are, that the books that are often appear I've seen these books everywhere, in every shop, and these are the Harry Potter books. I also got myself this dark chocolate with 
with the nuts it, it's very tasty although I wish I got myself the milk chocolate because it tasted better speaking of chocolate I got when I was in duty free in Budapest airport I got myself this as and as you can see I have eaten half of it but these are very good Another thing from Duty Free, I originally didn't intend to buy, but then I saw these lovely mints and I couldn't resist buying them. Here, these are Ricola from Switzerland. They are sugar free and they costed uh, 5 euros approximately. And the last final thing I want to show you is this lovely unicorn. I was walking on the fair on the Christmas fair and then when I saw this and I was like oh my gosh a unicorn I at first I didn't know whether I should buy this or not but eventually I gave 2000 forints for this I thought the unicorn is a good symbol of fantasy and it belongs on my fantasy bookshelf over there and that's it Thank you so much for watching, I, I really hope you enjoyed my vlog. See you next time, goodbye.